So I'd love to hear a little bit more about the robotic side and, and what you guys are doing and how big data plays a role in, in changing manufacturing. Well, let, let me give you an example. Uh, so um, rather than manufacture, I'll give you another in industry. Um, so we do, um, my company does drones, um, and we uh, use these cell phone technologies and basically put cell phones give them wings or propellers or things like that, and use them as data acquisition devices. So in the same way you're seeing sort of a spread of sensors, you know, we take those sensors to the air. The industry, I think, that's going to be most affected by this big data approach is not one you probably thought about. It's agriculture. Mm. Um, farmers know very little about their crops. It, you would think, you know, after, by now we would, but, but the way it works, and, you know, I'm not a farmer, I've spent enough time perhaps, but um, you basically walk along the road, you look at sort of the, the crops on the left, the crops on the right, right, and maybe do a little, a little sort of, you know, spot checking. But these things are, you know, miles large. And so you're basically, you're guessing. Mm -hmm. And in the absence of certainty about do I have a fungal infection on my wheat crop or whatever, you end up overusing fungicide and pesticide and you overwater, et cetera, because the cost of under, the cost of missing a fungal infection or underwatering is very high. And so we end up you know, polluting the ground and, it's, and these, these chemicals are very expensive and you know, to say nothing about the consumer you know, experience. So if a farmer could actually know what's going on everywhere in their crop all the time, we'd be, they'd be making better choices about the application of these chemicals. There's two ways to do it. You can either spread sensors everywhere, you know, the kind of the smart dust approach, and just, you know, sensor on every stalk. Put them in not, the soil or something? Put them in the yeah, soil, yeah, you know, yeah. it, 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 it's probably not gonna happen okay. for a, a number of reasons not anytime soon. Or you can just uh, deploy sensors over the crop on a, on a daily basis. Um, right now you can, you know, you can hire these like, you know, consultants who will come do a crop survey and they'll fly over your crop. You know, it's kind of like a Google page view, a Google, uh, you know, Google Maps, um, a street view thing, uh, but you can get it every day or every month or whatever, but it's like $1,000 an hour. What we're, what we're working on with teams up um, in, in, in Davis is um, you basically sort of throw a little, a little sort of drone out the window um, in the morning. Um, it then does this little lawnmower pattern over that. Uh, by the time you're finished with breakfast, you have, you have um, you know, a, a aerial views at very high resolution of your crops, and you can sort of say, oh, that little dark spot over there, I'm gonna now check that and see whether I need, in fact, to, to, um, to water or, or, or do fungicide, et cetera. So what we're doing is we're basically, and, and these things will be, you know, you know, terabyte size, we get so much data. So now farming becomes a big data industry, um, and the farmers are gonna have to, initially it's actually quite easy for them to analyze because we reduce that big data. Our analytical approach for, for that is to do, reduce the big data to a picture, or you know, a picture where it's very easy to identify a problem based on color or infrared, infrared uh, patterns, et cetera, and then the farmer can act on that. But now apply that to more granular you know, uh, data about you know, soil data and, and you know, pest data, et, et cetera. And now farming becomes, you know, again, another statistical analytical thing. I don't think, expect farmers to learn Bayesian statistics, but I do expect that companies are going to provide analytical tools that make it easier for them to interpret that.